Really haven't changed one bit, have you? Wow. Hmm? Device. Hey Nick, the house. It's yours. Finally, after so long. Thanks, man. It's been... years. Decades at least, since I've been inside this house. I lived here when I was just a kid, with my family. My mom, my siblings, my, uh, my dad. I received a call from Tobias telling me that they were finally ready with the repairs this morning. Took them long enough. Heh, <laughs> it's funny. Even after what happened, and all that time away from home, it looks just like I remembered it to be. Is my memory that precise? Uh, of course, things like the furniture and photos aren't here anymore, but hey, can't blame anybody for that. <laughs> right, right. I guess I better use that memory for something useful. I don't have the full story. Nor do I know why it happened, but I can tell you how it started. Everything else is up to you to figure out. This is the story of the night I lost my home, my childhood, and almost my family. When Five Nights at Freddy's just ended. Excuse me, sir, can you tell me your name? Oh, look, man, if you won't talk, I'm calling the police. You can't just barge into someone's house like this. Are you hurt? Do you need any help? Honey, what's going on? I don't know. This man suddenly appeared in our house. His name's on one of the papers, but I don't know. Send him here. Michael! What? I, uh, I mean, my, uh, uh, my name. It, it's Michael. I'm Michael. I, uh, uh, you, you asked me that. Excuse me, but just what are you doing in our house? The sun's about to go down. I don't think you should be here. Uh, yeah, I was just saying that. You, uh, you, uh, you, you look a little bit roughed up. What happened to you? I, 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 I don't know. I can't remember. Um, I'm sorry, but, but I just, I, I just don't know. Michael, pick it up. The floor is bad. Daddy, can you help Michael? Nighttime is coming. It would be bad when he's outside. Um, I, I mean, I, I guess. Like, can you stand? Um, I, I think so. A bit. I, I just feel a bit, um, dizzy. Yes, dizzy. Come on, man. Let me help you up. After that, Dad carried the stranger to our guest room. He thanked me for convincing my parents to let him rest in our house for a night. Or at least, while he collected his thoughts. After that, Mom put me in bed. I can't remember much about Michael, but I knew he wasn't a bad person. Or, at least he didn't look, you know, dangerous. I was young, so I guess I just didn't know any better. Certainly didn't know what a burglar was, that's for sure. Um, not that I was implying he was, I'd never talk to him again after that. Well, except for when the storm happened. That's when I woke up on my bed, and I saw them.
Hello? Hello, hello, uh, uh, Nick? Uh, hey, little Nicky, it's me, Michael. Now, hey, you don't say anything back to me, okay? There are monsters around that'll hear you if you do. Now, don't be scared, Nick, okay? Listen to me, and we can defeat those monsters, all right? Okay, so these monsters might look, uh, surreal. Uh, you know, don't look at them too long, or you'll feel weird and see creepy things. When you do, turn on your desk lamp next to your bed. You'll feel safe there. Uh, the more you stare at the scary monsters, the worse you'll feel. All right, uh, all right, all right, all right, um... Okay, first things first, uh, Freddy, uh, the fuzzy brown bear. Uh, he's at the window, Nick. Uh, he'll peek inside. Close your curtains and keep them closed until you hear him leave, or else he'll get inside. Uh, then there's Bonnie, the uh, ill-tempered big purple bunny. Uh, keep an eye on your door. He'll be there. Uh, he's not shy at all. Uh, he will knock on the door to let you know he's there. Once he opens the door, shut off the lights as fast as you can, Nicky. He can't see you well in the dark, and he'll leave. Uh, oh, but make sure you're sitting down when you do that, all right? Okay, uh, then there's the chicken. Um, that one's a little bit weird. Um, check the closets often. Uh, if she's peeking through, make sure to disable the lights. Uh, she doesn't want to be seen, but ignoring her doesn't help either. If she does catch you with the lights on, she'll scare you and stun you. Now, look, I, I know this is a lot to take in, Maliki, okay? Just, just listen carefully and try to remember it all. Please, okay? All right, last is Foxy. Uh, he'll be right beneath your bed, Nick. You'll hear scraping from the bottom of the crib when he's there. Uh, be watchful if you see his hook on the back of your bed, because soon enough, he'll be right there next to the bed. Uh, don't look directly at him, Nick. Instead, pretend to sleep. All right, just pretend to sleep. Yeah, just lie down without moving too much. Look up and close your eyes. Uh, Foxy sees eyes as if they're big, bright spotlights, okay? So if you pretend to sleep, he won't know you're there anymore. But don't open them until you know he's gone, okay? Okay, uh, so to recap, um, Freddy is at the window, so if you see him peeking, close the curtains until he's gone. Uh, Bonnie will knock on the door and open it afterwards. Uh, disable the lights and sit down until he leaves. Chica will try to stun you by scaring you, so if you see her peeking through the closet, shut off your lights and don't pretend to sleep. She'll think you're gone. And Foxy will appear under your crib and move upwards, so when he's next to your bed, pretend to sleep until you hear him leave. All right, you got all that? All right, good. Uh, listen, I have to go, little buddy, okay? Just hang in there. Oh, they'll leave at 6 a.m., I'm sure of it. You can do this.
Do you really think it was a good idea letting him stay? Well, it's not like he was in any condition to do anything. Did you see his clothes? It's like he came out of a bonfire. I mean, I could have, uh, you know, called an ambulance, maybe dropped him off near a hospital would have been better. I, I just don't think I'd feel comfortable with a complete stranger just ending up sleeping in our house is all. Oh, honey, are you worried about the kids? Of course I'm worried about the kids. He's sleeping right next to them. How can I not be? What if he's faking, Val? We could stay here to make sure nothing happens, if you're that worried. All night? <laughs> of course all night. Come on, don't you want to spend time with me more? You are done updating your site for the anniversary. How about we just sit here in the living room and watch some TV while we keep an eye on the kids? I mean, uh... Sure, I guess. Yeah, I guess we could do that. I, I, I've just got to go make sure one more time nothing's wrong, all right? I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I'll just stay right here. But don't take too long. <laughs> you worry too much. <gasps> what, uh, what was that? Is someone there? If anyone can hear me, please respond immediately. Who is it? What in God's name is going on here? Oh, uh, it, it's me, Michael. Uh, look, there's no time to explain. Just know that you are in grave danger. Is Scott there with you? My husband? No, he isn't. He, he just went to... What do you mean I'm in danger? Oh, no. Uh, Ma'am, I am very, very sorry. This is all my fault. You need to stay calm. I'll try to help you through this. Just please listen to me very carefully. What? Listen, there are monsters that are going to arrive to your room real soon. If they see you, you are dead. Do you understand that, ma'am? It is very important that whatever occurs, just don't let them see you. All right? I... I... I, I know, I know. Look, just... You're in the living room, right? Try to focus on the three entrances behind you. The exit to the house should be locked and they won't come through there. If there are any monitors nearby, then they should be forced to produce a camera system for you. Ma'am, is the TV in your living room turned on? Uh, yes, but it's filled with static. Uh, all right, uh, please keep an eye on it. It should help you. Look, they usually come from either the left side or the right side. You have nothing to stop them, so if you see one of them about to enter the room, just hide. Hide? Hide where? Uh, just... Look, look, just stay out of sight, okay? Yes, if they try to come in, just move somewhere they won't be able to see you, okay? Well, I don't know which one will come from which side, but if you look at the TV, you might be able to tell by yourself. Uh, maybe if you can, try to see if you can look through the doors, too. Uh, windows? Uh, keyholes? Yes, uh, keyholes! If any of your doors has a keyhole you can peek through, keep checking it. They won't notice you on the other side. Trust me. Uh, so yes, I, I can't stress this enough. If anything comes through those doors, hide. Just hide away from view. You might hear noises later on in the night. Pay attention to those. Don't look at anything that appears in your room and try to stay safe. Please. Do, do I have to stay here all night? What about my children? What about my husband? Look, it's very hard to explain, ma'am, and no, just wait until 6 a.m. to be safe. But, but, but don't worry, the time will pass much faster. Just keep an eye on the clock and wait for that time. They should all be gone in a few minutes, and then the hours will reset. Now, please, if you survive, I need you to grab your kids and get out of this house as soon as possible. I'm gonna help Scott get out of here myself. Don't worry, just please get yourself and your sons out of harm's way. I... I don't understand. What is even happening? How do you know all of this stuff? Wait... Wait a second. How do you know my husband's name? I was there when he found you, Michael. He never said his name. How do you know? Michael?
For years, I've thought that what I saw was just a bad dream. Something that couldn't possibly have been real. Why would it? Monstrous beings coming to get a helpless child from the shadows, poking their heads out from under the bed, peeking through the closet. Just a usual nightmare for a kid, right? No matter how real it felt. Well, most of what came after is foggy. Felt more like a dream than the actual nightmare itself. Um, Mom came to rescue me. Picked me up and carried me away. I was scared for my life. It was the scariest moment of my life, for sure. I've never been a crybaby, though. Even when I was a kid, people have told me they've never seen me cry, or yell, or even scream. So even if I was terrified during all of it, I would have been silent the entire time. But that was the strangest thing about that night. Even though I never made a peep, as I was being taken outside by my mother, away from the nightmare. I still vividly remember hearing my own screams. Nick? Nick! Fuck. What is happening? This isn't real. This isn't real. This isn't real. I'm just dreaming. None of this is real. Ah! are around the house. Here's your trusty flashlight to slay them with. We hide from the monsters. They were mean to mommy. So we hid where you always tell us to hide. Much love, Nick, Sam, and Anthony. Hmm. Whatever has brought them here must have done this, too. I, I I don't know how much time has passed. I just know that I can't leave. They're waiting for me outside. Only here is safe. I, I, uh, I, I've left these messages for myself, too. Uh, remember, uh, help me remember what they do, how they act. I mean, now they all want to get inside, but... Uh, coming near me with these three monitors three entrances they haven't come in a while but i know they'll be back soon they become impatient louder faster especially um, especially foxy foxy yeah he's uh he's the one who's been tormenting me the most uh, 
I, I don't know where he comes from. I, I don't know how, but he just appears near an entrance. I can hear him coming. He growls and scrapes at the door. I, I just watch him through the cameras, and he eventually goes away. So I need to look at him in the monitors. I, uh, I, I guess he doesn't like being watched, huh? <laughs> Freddy, he's here. I, I can see him. He's not like the others. He just stands there. He knows he can't get to me. He's just waiting. I don't fully understand, but, but I know he isn't giving up. If I want to get out of here, I need to find him. I, I, I just know it. He's the key to this. God, I just... I just... I can't stay put here. I need to fight for my family. Oh, God, they must be so scared. He's gone. He's gone. Okay. I have a flashlight ready with me. This might be suicide, but I need to try. If I see Freddy again, I'll just open up the door and flash his eyes as soon as he's there. Yes, I can't let him hold me down like this forever. I just hope this works out. If, if it doesn't, then I... appeared again. Stayed on the wall, came back too. God, I don't know. It's just so horrifying. She just wriggles and writhes back and forth trying to get out of there. I, I know how to stop her, though. Whenever she shows up, her cupcake, I, I mean cupcakes, just just appear in my room. Or, I've seen them outside the entrances sometimes. Uh, anyway, they, they just appear. And if I flash them with the light, they go away. There's three of them, I think, and if they go away, so does she. She's slow, gives me enough time to find them, but I don't know how many places they can hide. So I'll search the room. I, um, uh, I can do this.
camera. Damn it! Ronnie just broke one of my cameras. I, 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 I don't know what happened. He just appeared, and as soon as I realized he was there, he just took it down in one swing. They don't do that. None of them have ever. I, 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 I still think I can do this. I, I think. I just do not make eye contact. Do not look at Bonnie. He's too smart. All of them are getting smarter, angry if they're, they're helping each other. Them except Freddy. He hasn't appeared since last night. I need to find him. I can hear his laugh taunting me in the distance. That damn... Right. Act fast, okay? Bonnie just keeps moving around. If I just ignore him, he'll go away. Now, where in the world are you, Freddy?
Do you believe in spirits? Many do. Many claim they've seen one or have heard stories of people being haunted by these white figures, or oily shadows. My dad made a game series about it. A, a horror franchise, in fact. It was his shining achievement. Apparently there was a time when everybody knew about it, all over the world. Clothing, toys, accessories, board games, you name it. Five Nights at Freddy's was everywhere. There were even rumors of it getting a movie. <laughs> well, it didn't last long anyway. Nobody remembers it anymore, nor the characters, the games, or my father. After that night, it all went away. Nothing lasts forever, and that's why I don't believe in spirits. Everyone has to die. Everything has an end at some point. Even if that point comes sooner than you'd wish. Hello? Kids? Are any of you there? I found your note. Daddy's here. You must be really scared, but, but I'm here. Why are you doing this to us? Why? Just leave us all alone, you monsters! I created you. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy. How, how is this happening? What are you? You are not them. You're just using their faces. What are you? You are creation. <laughs>
this for too long, Scott. They're barely holding themselves together anymore. Why? I have been a good man. We've been good people. Why have you demons come to torture me and my family? Uh, I, uh, I, I was saying uh, that we've gone... Stop ignoring my questions! If I'm going to die, at least I want to know why! Can you at least give me that? <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. It's just the way things have to go. It's just a part of life. Uh, but for us, I mean. Their bodies are hardly keeping themselves together. So they've gathered themselves in the basement. They can't just uh, kill you directly, you know. And I promised them I'd leave you to them. So I brought you here to uh, at least try to talk to you before they arrive. So before they get here and everything burns, I'd like to thank you for giving us this opportunity to see the world through the eyes of your creations. Being Michael Schmidt has been an incredible experience. I mean, I feel... I feel, I feel fantastic. I want to keep feeling like this forever. And to do that, I need you to die. Leave us alone!
a.m. and it will all be over. That's how it worked there before, right? But these are not your things. <sighs> Please. 
Okay, Val. It's okay. We're safe now. Have you called 911? Yes. Yes, I did. As soon as we got out, I called them. Like, a, a few hours ago. They said they'll be here as soon as they come in. Oh, God, you stayed inside there for so long. They thought you... But I didn't. Don't worry. Everybody is fine. Daddy, what happened to home? Why is it burning? Is Michael still in there? We are safe. Matters. You're safe now. Dad? What are we doing now? Everything's gone. You are safe now. It's all that matters. Dad, you're acting weird. You are safe now. That's all that matters. Honey, are you okay? You are safe now. It's all that matters. Daddy, no! You are oh safe my god, oh my god! It's all that matters. You are oh safe. God. All that matters. You are safe now. That's all that matters. You are safe now. That's all that matters. See, they're safe now. Just as you wanted. Thank you for your cooperation, Scott Coughlin. I'll take care of everything from here.